Hello and welcome to City Update. I'm your host, Chuck Emmert. The City of Phoenix has a program in place that recognizes excellent achievements of our high school students by naming the outstanding young man and the outstanding young woman. But what's the criteria needed to be considered as the outstanding young man or the outstanding young woman? Here to talk about this unique honor for our youth is Brazelda Rodriguez from the Youth and Education Office. Welcome to City Update, Brazelda. Thank you for having me. Also with us are Sohail Dulat from Basis Peoria High School and Irene Franco Rubio from the Walter Cronkite School. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Brazelda, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about the program. The program is Outstanding Young Men and Young Women Award, and it's open to City of Phoenix youth that are in high school. So if you're in high school, whether it's public, charter, homeschool, you're eligible to apply for this award. Now, in applying for the award, what type of criteria are you looking for to name these students? Well, we're looking for students that are doing, um, displaying excellence in their community, that they're achieving um, their goals and are helping out their community as well. Well, speaking of excellent students, from last year, we have Irene and Sohail here with us. Let's start with you. Sohail, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm from Basis Peoria High School. I played varsity basketball, and I love volunteering in my community. Now, you were the outstanding young man last year. Tell us about your district and what your application process was like. Yeah. So I, I'm from District 1, and I had an interview and essay, and in the interview and essay, I talked about how I volunteered. I love my learning more and it was just a wonderful experience. Oh, great. And Irene, you're a graduate of high school now at the Walter Cronkite School. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I graduated from University High School in Tullison, uh, but uh, now I'm pursuing a career in journalism. Uh, my focus is public relations, so I aspire to create social change through the media. What was the process like for you applying and receiving the award last year? Uh, it was a wonderful opportunity. Um, when I went for my interview, I remember it was, uh, the experience really resonated with me. Um, in my interview, I did uh, explain how I started the uh, University High online student news site. So I created a um, publication for the school. Um, I wanted to expose other students at my high school uh, to pursue careers in journalism. And so now it's a class and it's ultimately to give back so that students can see the opportunities that are available here, like the Cronkite School. Mm -hmm. Rosella, these two are perfect examples of the type of students you're awarding. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about the program. There's an outstanding young man and an outstanding young woman from each council district. Correct. So we'll select a young man and a young woman from each district, a total of 16. And then out of those, then we'll select our citywide outstanding young man and young woman. So the district winners actually are, win $500, and then the outstanding citywide winners win an additional $1,500, so a total of $2,000. So we're talking pretty good money here yes, that can exactly. help out with college costs and that sort of thing exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. Great. Now the deadline's coming up to, to apply. Tell us a little bit about that and where to apply. So our deadline is going to be February 28th, and they can go to our website through phoenix.gov, and it's Outstanding Young Men and Young Women and the application is there. So the application process requires you to do a statement as far as what you're doing in the community to make it excellent, your excellence, a letter of recommendation from someone in the community or your school, and also um, provide some verification. And so all that information is on our website. Great. So Hale, you talked a little bit about the process that you went through last year and about volunteering. What is it that you like about volunteering that really resonates with you? So I'm part of the Triumph Music Honor Society and we volunteer at elderly people assisted living centers and it was just amazing when we played music and we could see the smiles on their face and we felt like we were changing people's lives. So just overall volunteering and seeing the direct effect on people is just wonderful. Mm. Now you're a senior this year, mm -hmm. that correct? What are your plans after high school? I plan to go to U of A and pursue my career in medicine. I see, well, good luck with that. Thank you. Irene, we mentioned you're already at the Walter Cronk High School. Tell me a little bit more about what you enjoy about uh, your life and what you volunteer at. 
Um, yeah, so I'm involved in uh, various organizations. Uh, currently, I, um, I'm a communications intern with Chiganos por la Causa. I am part of the, uh, an intern for the leadership development program for Mi Familia Vota. So ultimately, I want to engage um, youth civically and politically to be involved in their communities. Um, also, this has given me experience in the whole public relations um, so that I can eventually create social change. Mm, great. Now, maybe there's some people watching this program and they're wondering whether they should apply or not. What would you tell somebody that's thinking about it? Well, I definitely think that because I was given this award, I was able to recognize my potential and I felt that, you know, there's people there that are that want to empower me. And so because of this experience, I'm now involved, further involved in my community. I want to give back. I, um, I just, I believe in making the most of the opportunities that we are given. And so I think this um, award would give students that opportunity. We should recognize as well, Brazil, that the city of Phoenix is not alone in this process. We have some partners that really go all out to make this a special event. Yes, we do have some partners that help us with that, with the funding and also for the funding for the grants. So, um, so they'll be there to help us and honor these outstanding young men and young women. And it really culminates in a very nice luncheon. Tell us about that. So we have a luncheon. Um, the luncheon will be in April. And so that luncheon will recognize our district winners. And so we'll have some guest speakers, some keynote speakers there as well. And then we'll announce our citywide outstanding young man and young woman. Now you're involved with this process from beginning to end. Tell me a little bit about your impressions of the young men and young women that you come in contact with. Well, I'm always impressed about just their again, their commitment to excellence in their communities, what they're doing, whether it's in their church or their schools and their families. A lot of them have, you know, come through some adversities and are pursuing their goals and not letting that stop them. So they're very resilient and, you know, just pushing forward. So we're really excited about that. One of the process with this is you'll be interviewed as well. And so we'll do an interview of all of our applicants and select our district winners in that way. Great. Well, we're about ready to wrap up the show. Thank you so much for being with us today. And I'm going to say a special thank you uh, to you two for taking time out of your day in classes to come down to the studio like this. Uh, and good luck in the future. You've got a great start and uh, it's going to be all uphill from here, right? Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> thank you. And Rosella, thank you so much for what yeah. you do for this program. We're looking forward to the event in April. And yes. we'll go from there. Yes. So. Thank you. So that's what we have for today. If you'd like more information about the Outstanding Young Man and Young Woman program, you can look to the website on your screen. That's phoenix.gov slash education. Thanks so much for being with us today. I'm Chuck Emmert and that's City Update.